Hey folks, what's your welcome back to another Pokemon Master video, and today we're going to go over the new expanded sync grid units, right? The uh, 3 star, 4 star that they did for uh, Pokemon Master's Day, which uh, by the time I upload this video should have dropped in the game, right? Which, by the way, we will also be doing showcase videos for all three, so uh, make sure to tune in, uh, you know, have some fun. It's, you know, hopefully they're, oh, they're, 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 they're good, right? <laughs> At least one of them is going to be decent. The other two... A bit suspect. <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, all right. So starting first with the uh, Candace, right? Uh, which is, I guess, probably the most anticipated one because I do think she's the overall best one uh, out of all three, right? Uh, she doesn't put up like the biggest numbers, but she's, uh, most useful one, right? Hail Setter, MP Refresh, all that stuff. So yeah, I mean, I everyone knows what Candace does by now, right? Uh, self speed buffs, Hail, Ice Punch uses gauges though, but uh, does does buff a lot of your stats, right? Um, you don't have any crit buffs, so that's uh, something to uh, worry about a bit, right? And then sync move power ups during hailstorm, so that's uh, it's pretty standard. Her stats are at five stars, pretty uh, you know whatever, right? Three hundred attack, which is not very good. Speed's okay. All the other stats are not great. I mean, HP's not bad, but everything else is whatever, right? So let's uh let's get into it. so in terms of lucky skills right we do have the new lucky cookies so i guess there are a few more options to consider right you could always go there's you can you can never go wrong with crit, uh, crit strike 2 right obviously and uh, we don't have these cookies yet but uh once they do come out you know which is why i'm talking about them a bit right uh but you can never go wrong with crit strike 2 but with the new lucky cookies you have this new weathered warrior 3 which powers up moves and sync moves when weather conditions are in effect which um almost should you should try your best to always have it in effect right obviously candace with npr only two on hills sometimes you know in longer battles like a legendary arena it might be gone by 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 the time you want to use it like a third time or whatever but um in shorter battles it, you definitely sh should be able to keep it up the whole time right so that is definitely an option super power three is also an option as well right um i think that's most of them honestly you could you could go for a supreme entry you could definitely go for a supreme entry because uh you know this for short battles are, are uh you know short battles is actually not bad um because of the fact that uh you supreme entry you don't use any offensive moves right you just go for the nuke uh which again it it's her strongest uh quality over here right it's not uh it's not the uh ice punches they do like no damage right it's mainly her sync move that does all the damage so you could come in, train a move, um, once or twice, depending on your support, uh, X speed once or twice, uh, well, probably just once, right? And then, um, hail in here and boom, you go for your sync, right? And, and, and you have a super effective on the sync. Although I'd say generally it's not like as good. It gives you a, what, 1.5 times multiplier, even though it's a separate multiplier, but again, uh, it's, it's only going to apply once in the whole battle. Right, unlike uh, something like, for example, um, you know, Super Power Three or Weather War Three or Crush Strike Two, they could apply multiple times, right? Which I think are a bit better overall, even though you know, it, interference media would give you the strongest single hit, right? At least on your first sync. Uh, but yeah, those, those are, I'd say, most of the ones you want, right? Um, you could also go for Fierce Entry, so you only need to use your training move once. But again, just bring a support, anyways, right? Most most likely you'd need the support for this uh, for this team anyways, um, or, or or any of her teams or most of her teams at least. So all right, let's talk about the grid. So I, we're just go straight for a three out of five because I'm assuming people have like, <laughs> you know, eighty out of five by now, right? Copies of Candace. So all right, all right, grid, 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 grid. So the big one you want over here is inertia, right? The big one you want is inertia. Uh, there's a few ways to get to it. You go through fleet feet. Um, which does make it so that you can max out your speed in two moves, right? If you have, granted, if you have someone else to max out your attack and crit, so you could double X speed and boom, uh, hail and then sink, right? So you could do that. Um, and yeah, uh, what else, uh, could you go for over here? You could go for hasty hail over here. You could go for super preparation. Um, oh yeah, no, she has super preparation. Yeah, no, no, ignore the... Ignore the uh, supreme entry. Yeah, she has super preparation. Forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Just <laughs> if you need it, just go for super preparation, right? And then heavy hail too. You could do something like this against uh, super effective, right? Obviously, if they're if you're not fighting super effective, then there's no no point doing this, right? You could just do something else 
like uh, like like this, right? It gives you a bit more uh, damage, if, you know, off type, right? Uh, so you could do that, uh, or you could actually do this if you have someone else. Ah, oh, never mind. That's that's not enough. Yeah, okay, never mind. You can't do this regardless. Um, so yeah, it just depends if you're hitting for super effective or not. Again, I just don't really re recommend anything up here. Right, the free stuff, ramming speed stuff, like, no. no these are, these are really, really whatever. Her, her ice punch damage is really, really mediocre. Um, for longer battles, you do want hail MPR, though. So, that, uh, that, that, that is something that, that you want to consider. Uh, which in that case, right, um, you should probably, actually, let's see. What can we drop? Oh, you could drop one of these, and then still pick up hasty hail. Still have inertia, still have, uh and then have that hail NPR and then as for anything else you can pick up maybe like a speed buff maybe right something like that so yeah those are Candace grids pretty simple right again you're mostly just going for the nuke if you really 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 want a DPS and don't want a nuke for some reason because she's one of the better um ice type nukers right although that's not saying too much because ice type <laughs> nukers are all kind of whatever right all pretty bad um yeah but if for some reason you're not seeing with her at all then uh, there's hail, or I mean speed over here, hostile environment maybe, right? If you really need it, if you don't, then obviously not. But yeah, something like this, I guess. It's, well, her, yeah, her ice punch is really, really bad. Just don't really consider it, honestly. As for some team comps, there's so many. There's just so many ice types that could use the help of, uh, you know, hail, right? Just any unit that could use hail. Um, so something like this, Leon, even though he doesn't use it like too much, but he does have like a bit, right? <laughs> so you could do that with uh, with Leon, with um, Yamper here as well. Uh, Yamper is really great because of the speed buffs um, that you get for Candice. Uh, if you're not doing a fleet feed over here, right? Uh, if you are, then you could just use train to move three times max out with Candice and boom, you're good to go, right? So... Uh, that's nice again. Just any any of these ice types, right? Like most ice types can use hail, right? All of them except for well, not not tech. Uh, the only one who does it really is like Getsis, right? Kurbamik will use it. Dugong can use it. Ice Q obviously could use us. Q could also set it as well. Uh, Sandslash could set it and also use it as well, right? So some of these would be nice. Um, if you don't have Amper, obviously Hilbert's still fine. Um, I mean, they use mostly the same supports, except for Krabombo, who doesn't really need any supports. Just give him, like, speed or move gauge stuff, right? And then Dugong, a special support, right? So, physical supports, obviously, Sonya, Hilbert, uh, Scyther, um, Raichu, all these, right? Zamzenta, etc. Uh, and then special support, on, on the other hand. Um, although, even, when, even if you are running... Uh, to go and say you go for like both because you also need to buff uh, Candace's physical, right? So something like a um, uh, What is this a Falconer, right? Something like a Falconer a uh, What's was that guy uh, the Sawyer, right? You know some supports that buff a bit of both uh, You could definitely get away with you get away with uh, Sing Su Blue, maybe you get away with um uh, a Togepi as well, you know, stuff like that. So, anyways, all right, that's uh, Candace Bomb. So, next one, let's talk about Sophocles, right? <sighs> Sophocles and Togetamaru. So, Sophocles tomorrow actually does have a very, very good uh, sync nuke, uh, in fact. Um, should be what the third highest electric sync nuke in the whole game, or something like that. Um, actually, I don't, yeah, yeah, I think so, right? So, all right. Um, in terms of him himself, right, he has like this para flinch thing going on with nuzzle, paralyzing, zap, flinch. You need to flinch the opponent because that's the innate for the uh, sync, right? And uh, X special defense, and you have power of science, which gives you attack speed plus t plus three, right? It does lower your defenses, but you know it's whatever. You are very very fast in terms of you know stats. Uh, very very fast. Attacks not that great. Defenses or special defenses, not the worst. Not very good either. <laughs> Defense is not very good either. Um, HP is kind of whatever, right? Um, in terms of of uh, of uh, lucky skills, right? I mean, basically, you know, just stuff like Quirk Strike Two or Super Power Three, right? Quirk Strike Two, Super Power Three 
if you want, like move cage refresh two isn't terrible either. You generally don't really want anything else, right? You don't want supreme entry because you have to use your moves against the opponents. Uh, so it's basically just these two, right? Chris Strike, and if you don't have Chris Strike two, obviously you could always go with Chris Strike one on our regular um, cookies, right? Uh, that we have at the moment. All right. What else? Uh, I could maybe Defense Crush if you if you're like really down bad on cookies or whatever. Um, okay. As for the grid, you have Cakewalk up here. You have uh, Prowess Synergy up there. Although your regular move damage is going to be really, really bad because like your base power is like so low, right? It's not going to really help you. Same thing with the ramming speed on Ice Punch, right? Uh, with uh, with Candice. So that's one over there. You have Static Shock five over here, right? Uh, so that's an extra 50% when you sink. Cakewalk's are actually, you know, 100% when you sink. So, yeah, those are the two that you obviously do want to try to go for. Uh, again, if, you know, if you're trying to use it for a sink nuke, nuker, which it is definitely a sink nuker, right? I'd ignore everything over here. I'd ignore that. I'd ignore most of this stuff as well, honestly. Um, I'm bending. I don't really care about unbending, honestly. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> uh, what else could you do? Um, yeah, you could try to go for both trip ups over here and then pick up this uh, sync move power up. So you have all the sync move power up stuff, and then you have the uh, trip up, which could lower the opponent's speed. All you have to do is just run it in a right comp, right? In this case, it would be a uh, Valkner. That could help you uh, paralyze, and well, you, you could paralyze as well, but a pair of flinch the opponent and also set you electric terrain. And then you over here just need to debuff the opponent's speed, right? And uh, also have a you know, support max out your stats. Uh, or you could run a Lisa, a classic Lisa, right? Um, to debuff the opponent's stats for you. Although if you are running. Uh, classically, so I'd probably pick up an aggravation instead, right? Because again, you do need to flinch. It just depends on which electric terrain setter you're running it. If you're running with Volkner, I'd pick up the trip up. If you're running it with Elisa, I'd pick up aggravation, right? So it's basically it just switches between those two. And again, speaking of, his, his teams are very, very rigid, right? There's only a few teams that you could really run um, that are, again, good, right? Because I mean, without, you could do without uh, electric terrain, but it's just not that good, right? I guess Electivire is another option, but you know, that's not a very good option because you need to sync with uh, Electivire to get Electric Train up and then by the time you you could sync with Regenomaru, Electric Train is gone, right? So it's not very good. Um, so yeah, Volkner, uh, you could you could run Sonya as a third. Sonya is good. Um, Raichu is good. Scyther is still good. Hilbert's fine, right? What else? Just again, any of the uh, physical buffers, right, generally. Uh, there just really isn't someone that could really uh, debuff the opponent's speed. That well, that would have been really, really nice. But uh, otherwise, there isn't really that uh, that option over there, right? Uh, but yeah, stuff like yeah, Sonya is really, really good. You can also have the ex staggering, you know, for extra chance to crit or not crit, um, flinch, right? To uh, to you know, try to flinch the opponent with the yamper uh, to help with the again the sync nuke innate with um, to get Amaro. I think uh, Hilbert also has the flinch as well, right? I'm um, pretty sure on the grid. So, yeah, there are options there again. Volkner, Luxray. If you have Lisa, you could do Lisa as well. Molga, although she only sets Electric Train once. And then over here, again, you just have to change the grid so you increase your chances of, uh, of, of, of flinching the opponent, right? So, anyways, uh, that's to get Amaru. Who's the last one again? Bryson, right? Mr. Bryson. Bryson, Bryson, Bryson. What are we going to do with this guy, man? Honestly, what are we doing with him? <laughs> Bryson is terrible. Um, he's going to be very, very useful when the Legendary Gauntlet for Chris Elliott comes around. But then again, he's just going to be good for like one clear. You need multi You need so many clears, right? Okay, this guy doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, free synergy on Ice Beam. No, sucks. Um, ice Beam, Hostile Environment, uh, okay, not the worst, I guess. Uh, what's the base? Freeze Transfer Ice Beam again? Oh my god, never mind. No, this guy's just bad. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're a Bryson fan. I am. Uh, this guy's, like, straight up bad. Like, his only, like, big thing, Haze, has an MP refresh of two only. <laughs> yeah, this guy is, like, so bad. I don't even know. Anyways, he's just here to set Haze. 
or set haste. Just use haste to haze away opponents' uh, stack gains, right? Which again is very, very useful if you are fighting Cresselia, the legendary arena, right? Or whenever the legendary uh, gauntlet that includes Cresselia comes around, because Cresselia needs its stats to be, you know, reverted, or else you're getting like screwed over really bad. So. Nothing to speak of its stats has very, very good speed. Everything else is very mediocre. Every single stat right, is kind of mediocre. You have Ice Beam over here. Ancient Power, Stone Cold Endurance gives you special defense. And then Haze. Sync is when, you know, same one as Leer. You got Snow Shelter and Healing Hail. If you want to, if you want an Ice type nuke, or just go with Candice. Just go with Candice, right? Um, Okay, uh, l lucky skill. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I want to say don't waste a lucky cookie on him. <laughs> but I mean, if you really want... Uh, I don't even know, man. None of this is good. Head start? I, head, yeah, I don't know. There's nothing going for him, honestly. Vigilance, maybe. He's not tanking, though. He's not doing anything. Speedy entry, maybe. Y yeah, just, just sure. Speedy entry. <laughs> I defense crush. I I don't know, right? <laughs> just nothing really going for him, honestly. All right. Uh, let's see. In terms of grid wise, just haze NPR. Get the flag bearer haze up for a chance of raising your team's attack special attack. You should never, ever, ever, ever rely on this though. Always have a backup plan just in case this stuff doesn't work. Because here's the thing: to even get like plus two, because usually, usually when you're bringing damage healers, they usually either need um, plus two, plus four, or plus six. Right? There's rarely any, you know units that need only plus one so you need that to activate twice which is only a 50 percent chance of activating anyways and that means you have to use haze twice and you have to use it early on so you get your you know damage your stats buffed early on and then if you're using it early on then you're wasting it right <laughs> pretty much so like this is not even that good honestly um what else ice beam move gauge refresh if you're running hail you could do hasty hail why does this guy even have grand entry oh my god uh, if you're running it in hail, you could do hasty hail. But outside of that, that's really nothing. Ancient power move gate refresh. Again, it depends if you want. If you want to freeze your opponent, ice beam move gate refresh. If you don't, then ancient power it because ancient power at least has a chance to like omni buff yourself, right? Which is which is cool. Um, yeah, with swag bag over here, so you get extra stats. You know which which is speed that you really want and um i don't know man just pick up some other like stat nodes uh d defense sh sure special defense hp yeah yeah there's nothing going on with this guy <laughs> it's not very good unfortunately um in terms of team comps uh it just his team comps don't matter right um it's not in terms of what team are you putting him in it's what opponents you're facing that you need to use them right uh any team that needs you to haze the opponent's stats needs them right so you can put them in any team right as long as you're fighting the right opponents with them you can throw them in any team right so anyways uh yeah that's probably this one i guess hope you all enjoyed let me guys think in the comments down below like show this finish on my channel for some more as content again um once they actually come out i'll uh, i'll record videos from them and uh, check them out and uh also any suggestions what stage am i gonna even use bryson on <laughs> to do a showcase <laughs> let me know in the comments down below because i have no idea <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing i want to use them in honestly i'm, I'm sorry I'm not trying to be rude but uh yeah um that are up right now so have fun folks i'll see you guys in the oh merry christmas to uh, those who uh celebrated as well so um, have fun i'll see you guys in the next one